All right, at the end of last episode, we found out from Cobway that these apparent devil banishers are actually devil worshippers, and the title of this episode is Those Who Worship the Devil. So this is going to get real interesting. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 146 and 147. Am I near a new opening? Nope, we don't have a new opening till 157, which I think is going to be right at the beginning of the, the spade arc. Am I right on that? I really have no idea. But I'm excited to finish out this filler arc. We have three episodes left, so this one, the next one, and then one more after this. So the next session will have half a filler and then half a normal one. So I'm excited. We found out, like I said, last episode after rescuing um asta nero and marie that the devil worshipers who actually like turned on cobway or devil banishers who turned on cobway because he wanted to execute them right now which makes a lot more sense are actually devil worshipers because they want the power of the devil so i need to figure out what's going on with that and watch more black clover i'm always hyped so don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description like always don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated let's hop into this black clover episode 146 those who worship the devil let's do this Okay, so a little bit prior, we're going to see what actually went down with Cobway. Oh, I forgot. They were actually able to get out of there with Nero and uh, Asta's Grimoire. I forgot. I did forget. I wonder what they're going to do with Asta's Grimoire, because technically, they're right. That is the thing that contains the devil. She said, shall I prepare some pain medication? He's going through with it. And so this is when they're like, no, we want this power. See, at least Cobway is like sticking to his ideals, you know, right? Like you guys are supposedly wanted to get rid of the devils. Yes, yeah, throw it away and kill her. So yeah, that pain medication that they gave her. Oh, they just straight up killed her. Yep. So I thought Shiona, him, and this dude also turned on Cobway, but no, they seem to be on Cobway's side. It was really just Dazu and uh, Bo, and the rest of their little henchmen, but mainly Dazu and Bo. Interesting. They're gonna flip their masks upside down. We're the devil believers. Yeah, that looks. Yeah, when you look at it like that, and how that's the mouth now with the teeth coming out, it's actually crazy. Uh-huh. Ooh. Okay. I mean, they have been mentioning this at the beginning of these, at the beginning of this arc, you know? Talking about the people with barely any magic who are struggling to survive, you know? Similar to Asta. Mix the water and wind. I mean, that's a cool magic power in and of itself, you know? And then later we went to go see those two same girls. Okay, I don't know how that's creepy, but... So they actually, like, worship Asta. By using a grimoire with a devil, okay. So they're trying to get this power for themselves as well. I did not expect this kind of twist on their perception of the devil, you know? Oh, my man just got stabbed by a mask. Imagine stabbing someone with your mask. You're just like... Huh, huh, huh. Oh, never mind. He had a knife. Okay, okay, okay. They're not that sharp. I was a little fucking stupid. <laughs> And this is when he makes that last call last episode. Hmm. See, seeing this, it looks like they attacked Cobway and Cobway, like, defended himself, killed them, and then is making this call as the rest of them are escaping. But no, I just miss, you know, misinterpreted. And it looks like he died. I think that's the end to Cobway. 
Order the Black Bulls to capture the Devil Believers and save Nero. Let's go do it. Rescue mission part dose. I can't say, I can't give them a typical RIP thing because they definitely were very radical and put innocent lives in danger with their shenanigans, but they did the right thing in the end, at least, so. Shouts out Cobway for that. Oh my god, Corton, don't look so creepy. A venomless viper, powdered long neck softshell turtle on the root of a gory Kabuto plant. Well, I mean, he would know because of his father's scientific experiments. Was brewed here. Shouts out Gordon for the observation. Okay, go okay, Gordon. <laughs> Granny Maggie. Okay. I was about to say this is the girl who thought that when they were talking about Marie, right? She came over like, oh, I'm Marie. Who called me an angel? Yes. Gosh. They're part. They're putting the pieces together. Just like Bo, because you can't really use magic. That's the girl that Finral and Yami saw at the cemetery. Yep. She was wondering where they were during this whole ordeal. But she's not smiling in this picture. No, she does not. Look at the observations coming out of these black bulls today. They need to be like Sherlock Holmes. It's a fair point, fair question. Oh, really? We didn't even bring that up at all, like from Cobway's perspective or anything like that. Really? Is that actually their plan? Is to hand Asa's Grimoire and Nero as a gift to Megacula? Oh, that would make sense, Asa and the Grimoire. So, that's north, right? Because the Heart Kingdom's to our west. And diamonds to our east, if I remember correctly. Talk about a transportation machine. Imagine I'm just like, hey, I want to go to Wendy's or I want to go to McDonald's. I don't even need to get out of my house. I can just bring my house to there, you know? No, thank you. I'm not interested. Yeah, because uh, Noel was here with Nazel seeing that this exact belief, so they're like, damn, you know, you might be right. I'm late meeting up with them. Asa's becoming somewhat of a celebrity, whether it's famous or infamy, but you know, he's becoming known. Oh my god, you should not push your mother like that. Uh -oh. They're all waiting for me right at location point 92, right at the east point of town. As soon as you, like, <laughs> you could have told them more. Hundred percent. They gotta be able to rely on you guys. Uh, I feel like my allergies are kicking up, guys. My eyes are just super irritated right now. Sorry. This definitely looks like a strong magic region. Oh my god, I love the... I love the defensive capabilities Noel has. Even in, like, even utility like this when we're flying. Like, it's so handy. What, are they waiting for the fucking PS5? What, a fucking 3080? What are they in line for? They have a following like this? They're just walking through these stormified mountains. And they're not worried about... Okay, these guys are savages. This is interesting. 
All right, on to 147. This one's called Prepared to Die. It's gonna be another flashback. Look at Dazu. Oh, is this Bo? I do enjoy me a nice sunset. So this is their first time meeting. That is a good question. Where did she learn? A self-taught apothecary? That's crazy. Yeah, I was about to say, that's dangerous. Crazy. Imagine something becomes poisonous, lethal. Dazu Taya. Well, that's nice. Some bitter medicine. And that was the start of their friendship. And now we went from there to climbing the top of a lightning filled mana region, trying to access a new kingdom and join their devil worship program. Really? Filled with snow and many mysteries. A neutral zone belonging to no nation. Prepared to die. It's the title of the episode. It makes sense. I guess they're taking that risk. The magic regions, the mana is affecting their communications device. Yep. So we're gonna have to do this on our own. Oh, so Magna's gonna go relay some info. We might have to do this on our own own. He still has one of the coolest wheels. Like, and so far he's one of the only like customized wheels. I still love Magna. She's running up a mountain and climbing it. Top Shouts out Noel who can just do her Valkyrie armor, but shouts out Asta for climbing a mountain. Asta is good at talking no jutsu. Okay, carry us up. It would be so dope riding on her Valkyrie armor with her. <laughs> Look at her just holding on to her legs for dear life. Look how fast she is. Did they not prepare at all for this weather my man's is wearing? We got t-shirts, tank tops out here. Like, I don't know, put a jacket on or something. Wow, they're making considerable progress. Another sunset, though. It's just like back then. Oh, yep, yeah, see? I assumed it was deeper than just friendship. But, you know, it could be a very platonic hand-holding. I really don't know, though, you know? And then as you say that, as you have a glimmering chance of hope, here comes Asta and Noel. Literally dive bombing out of the sky. And he doesn't have his grimoire, so in terms of defensiveness and offensiveness, he really doesn't have anything, just his muscles. This should be interesting. So these are all people with barely any magic. Really? There's a lot of people like that. That's the real question. I mean, they are just trying to leave, but they are technically assisting in a kidnapping, you know, like, do we attack them? Do we just let them go? Do we, what do we do? It's hard. I do think agree with Austin, we have to win them over, convince them to stay. They really do worship Asta, like I said. I was kind of memeing when I said that, like I didn't really think it would be like this, but holy shit. Master Asta, Master Asta. Teachers mock me, parents laugh. That's so crazy for just like, for being a little different, you know? But Asta, if anyone understands, is definitely Asta. He got ridiculed like crazy. That is true. She did work hard dirt because she had to she couldn't use her magic and they're like, why can't you use your magic? What are you doing? Oh, 
Wasn't happy at all. Wow. That's rough. Is that really true? Because that is pretty... Dang oh, damn. He's letting it all out. That's pretty sad, though. Asa's getting somewhat of a glimpse to how bad everyone has it. Similar to... They're, they're all similar to Asta, except they're not the main character. You know, they turn evil. Like They're like if Asta turned evil, but no. He wants to be the bigger and better person, so. I get where they're coming from completely, but you just can't kidnap Nero because of it, you know? It doesn't give you free reign to do whatever you like. That's 100% it right there. It's because I understand that I need to stop you. I don't know about that. I mean, he definitely can give you powers, but he seems to be attached to one dude right now. They've been powerless their whole life, so they want power right now. As they start holding hands and have our revenge. Oh yeah, no, they need to be taken down. If they're talking about coming back here and having revenge, nah. It's so flawed because they look up to they look up to him. They want to be like him, but he would never do anything like this, you know. So it's like a flawed belief, which is a lot of things like this, you know. See, he's the same as you, but I never despised any of them. That's where us is different. That's why he's the main character. He only thought about bettering people, helping. I worked for this kingdom. That's the world us is going to make. He's going to create that world. <laughs> I sound like Aaron. That's funny. Okay. It seems like Tak no Jutsu isn't working. This is the play I would assume Asta would make. Are we actually going to go to the Spade Kingdom though? I actually want to see it, so I'm down. So they made it. They're making it to the border. Real cold. That's actually not a bad... Yeah, that's actually not a bad play. How much can she combine? All of it. I mean, if she can do a collective combined all of them, they're completely right about that. I like that plan. I didn't. I was not expecting that to be Magna. I was like, is there a shooting star? What the hell? Yami and Magna can take care of everyone easily. Okay, that makes that way easier to deal with. But I kind of did want to see the Spade Kingdom. Damn it, I wanted to go. All right, those were a fun couple of episodes. I am getting, as I can totally tell, we're coming to the climax and the end of this arc. It is an interesting twist that I forget the girl and the guy's name who was with Cobway that died with Cobway, but that all three of them died and we're only going to be following Dazu and Bo now. But getting their little backstory and why they're doing the things they're doing, it literally is just like they're the Asta of their own story, but they didn't. They like, unlike Asta, they turned evil, you know, they wanted revenge. They're like, more normal than Asta is because Asta is one of those rare exceptions where your average person would want revenge your average person would be doing what they're doing Asta is just the exception that's what makes him such a great boy you know but they are doing it they are kidnapping Nero now Asta and uh Noel taking him as presents to the Spade Kingdom but being stopped by Magna and Yami so this should be very interesting how this ends next episode and then we get on to the Spade Kingdom training arc and then on to the Spade Kingdom arc so we are getting there it's been fun. I've been enjoying it. I know you guys have been as well. If you have been, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length. Up to four episodes. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.